Hi friends, this is the generation of technology. So we at IR Commerce Classes decided why not use technology for the sake of studies, for the benefit of students. So we have compiled all the critical points, the basics of every chapter, rather the most important chapters at one place in the form of a mobile app, which you can listen to it whenever you want at your convenience, without requiring Wi-Fi, no internet required, no 3G, no 4G. You just have to download in your mobile and listen to it at your convenience. My advice, listen to all the chapters at least thrice a day till your day of the exam and I am definitely sure you will be able to remember all the critical points during the examination. So friends, Take this mobile app, use it and score maximum marks in your examination. Wish you all the best. Now let us go to the chapter called internal reconstruction. What is internal reconstruction? Internal reconstruction is a scheme formulated to reorganize a loss-making company. How will you know a company is a loss-making company? Profit and loss account will appear on the asset side of the balance sheet. The scheme of internal reconstruction involves revaluation of assets, reassessment of liabilities, adjustment of shared capital and writing of losses and fictitious assets. If asset increases or liability decreases, that is a profit for the company. If asset decreases or liability increases, that is a loss for the company. I repeat, asset increase or liability decrease, that is profit. If asset decrease, liability increase, it is a loss. The rule is, if loss, capitalization account will be debit and if profit, Capitalization account will be created. Remember friends, whenever there is a loss in the transaction, capitalization account will be debited. And whenever there is a profit in the transaction, capitalization account will be credited. So capitalization account, loss will be on the debit side and profit will be on the credit side. Any excess profit remaining in the capital reduction account at the end should be transferred to capital reserve account. You will be passing a journal entry capital reduction account debit to capital reserve account. Sometimes in the problem they will give you about unrecorded liability. First of all what is unrecorded liability? It's a liability which is not appearing in the given balance sheet. The rule is if the liability is paid it is a loss, the entire amount will be capitalization account debit. If the liability is paid, it is a loss, entire amount, capitalization account debit. If the liability is cancelled, no profit, no loss, and no entry. I repeat, unrecorded liability, if it is paid, it is a loss. If it is cancelled, no profit, no loss, no entry. In every problem, there will be some adjustment about share capital. In most of the questions, face value and trade of value changes. The entry will be equity share capital, old face value account debit to equity share capital, new face value account to capital reduction account. The same thing will go in the case of preference share capital also. Share capital, old face value account debit to share capital, new face value account, to capital production account. But in some question, face value will remain same or they will say face value remains unchanged. In that case, the entry will be equity share capital account debit to capital reduction account with the difference in the paid up value of shares. So if the face value remains the same, entry is equity share capital account debit 
to capital reduction account. Sometimes they will give you about consolidation and subdivision. In case of consolidation and subdivision, the entry will be equity share capital, old face value account debit, equity share capital, new face value account. The same rule applies even in the case of preference shares. Share capital remains the same in consolidation and subdivision. Hence, no amount will be transferred to capital production account. The rule for assets, assets are either revalued or they are sold. If revalued, if it is revalued up, means it is a profit, entry will be asset account debit to capital reduction account. If the assets are revalued down, it is a loss, entry will be capital reduction account debit to asset account. If the assets are sold, cash comes in, entry will be cashback account debit with the selling price to asset account with the book value. Any difference will be transferred to capital reduction account. The rule for liabilities, liabilities are either cancelled or they are paid. If the liabilities are cancelled, means it is a profit for the company. Entry will be liability account debit to capital reduction account. And if the liabilities are paid, entry will be liability account debit to equity, preference, debentures, cash account. Any difference will go to capital reduction account. In every question, whether they mention or not, you must write off. Profit and loss account debit balance, any fictitious assets and goodwill. These items must be written off whether the problem mentions or not. The entry will be capital reduction account debit to profit and loss account or fictitious assets account or goodwill account as the case may be. Thank you very much. Thank you.